Valdosta State University has seen about 50 to 60 truckfuls of trees and debris removed from their grounds. And that's just on main campus. Let me step out of the camera real quick and show you some of the damages left on other places on campus like Farber Hall. I'm Malia Thomas, your neighborhood reporter here in Valdosta, and I'm speaking with the groundskeepers who are helping rebuild after Hurricane Helene. It's been load after load after load of debris. Monica Haynes is the ground superintendent for VSU. I was very heartbroken at first because we, we spent a lot, a lot of time trying to make the campus beautiful and to see all the trees on the ground was really upsetting. She tells me that in the course of a week, she and her crew have lifted hundreds of trees from the main campus and they still haven't finished counting. We have a small dump truck, not a very, not a huge one, but we've probably done about 40 or 50 dump truck loads out of here already. Damage is so widespread, they've had to get help from groundskeepers from other schools, like Billy Edwards from Albany State University. We had our first hurricane, Michael, come through 2017. They helped us out. Turn the favor last year in 2023. VSU is making progress on cleaning up campus and getting power. Chuck Polin, general manager of VSU Blazer Dining, tells me they're even operating Palms Dining Center in limited capacity to keep employees, as well as first responders, fed. I got here, I really felt terrible that a lot of these buildings that we've rebuilt from the previous storms are now damaged again. And most importantly, as you drive in, you, you can see the community, how much they are affected. Powell Hall, Farber Hall, the Fine Arts Building, Patterson Hall and the University Center are next to be cleared out. They took the worst damage during Helene. Classes will remain online until October 16th. In Valdosta, I'm Malia Thomas reporting for ABC 27.